Have you ever tried to remove tape from one of your drawings and it ripped off a bit of the top layer of paper? In this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you about how you can lessen the likelihood of ripping the paper of your drawings when removing tape, as well as I'm going to show you exactly how you should and shouldn't remove tape from your drawings. And be sure to stick around to the end for a little bonus tip to help in the removal of tape from your paper or drawings. Let's get into my tips. First, we're going to talk about a few tips with paper and tape and some ways you can lessen the risk of ripping or tearing paper on your drawings because these are important factors for why your paper can end up ripping. And then we're going to get into how to actually remove tape and apply tape to your drawings. So the first step you want to take with putting tape on your drawings is to use a low tack acid free tape. This kind of tape is made for being gentle on paper and what this is going to do for your drawings is lessen the chance that your paper will end up ripping or tearing and it is acid free so that it doesn't hurt the longevity of your work and turn it yellow over time. Other tapes are made to be tackier and with acids in them which can cause your artwork to fade. Second is to ask if the question of it is a paper issue or a tape issue to why your paper is ripping. Paper that is 100 pounds or greater is much less likely to rip when removing tape. Cheaper papers that are 80 pounds or less are more likely to rip when you remove tape because during the manufacturing of the paper, they either use cheaper materials or bonding agents for the ply of the paper. But this isn't a guarantee that if you use cheaper paper that your drawings are always going to rip. I've been using cheap drawing paper for years with my paper only ripping on rare occasions. And the last time it happened was not because of the paper, it was because of the tape that I used. So next is that sometimes the tape you may be using is more sticky than others. Artist tape is designed to be less tacky than other tapes, but some are more sticky or tacky than others. Not all tape is made with the same tack level. If you want consistency in the tackiness of the tape you use for your drawings, you need to buy them in bulk. And this is because when tape is manufactured, they create them in large batches. So depending on when that particular batch of tape gets manufactured, the company might have made tape more or less tacky with the adhesives they apply to the strip of tape. I will have a link to the brand of tape that I use in the video description. So what I would recommend doing, especially for professional artists where you're selling your drawings, is buying one roll to test out and see if that particular brand for that particular manufacturing period is going to work for your paper. If you think it is too sticky or you have ripping even if you follow the tape removing tips I'm going to be demonstrating with you in just a minute, you might want to try another brand. If you are going to continue using the same roll of tape that you bought, regardless of how sticky it is, you definitely want to follow my tips on how to apply the tape to your paper, which is my next tip. Now that we have those two factors mentioned about paper and tape differences, we're going to get into how to apply and remove tape from your drawings. The first step with this is to gently apply pressure to the tape as you run your fingers across the strip of paper over your drawing. Do not apply a lot of pressure or you increase the risk of the paper ripping when you remove the tape later. I usually like to just use the weight of my hand resting on the tape when I put the tape onto my drawings as I run my hand along the entire length of the piece of tape. And when you apply tape to your paper this way with less pressure, what this is going to do is make it much easier to lift that tape off of your drawing when it's all finished, thus reducing the chances of ripping your paper. Next is when you are ready to remove the tape from your drawing, this is what you should do. Start with the piece of tape that is lying on the very top of all the other pieces. If you taped a border on your paper, if not, this doesn't really matter in what order you do this. Lift up a corner just enough to get your fingers on either side of the tape. Then gently pull the tape out and away from the drawing and keep your fingers hovering over the paper while you do this. This creates the least amount of pressure or torque to the paper as you pull it off and thus drastically reducing the risk of your paper tearing. Now, what you don't want to do is pull directly up or pull from the tape towards the center of the drawing as that will encourage the paper to rip. The edges of the paper are the weakest part of the paper. The center is the strongest. So you want to always pull out and away from your drawing. And you also do not want to hold the tape 
too far away from your drawing while you pull it off the paper because this creates more torque or pressure between the tape being attached to the paper and it is more likely to cause ripping. When you are removing corner strips of tape, this can be a little tricky as you have a piece of tape on two sides running across the weak edges. To peel the tape off, you would do much the same as I said before, pull slowly and keep your fingers close to the paper. And of course, when applying the tape to your drawings, don't use too much pressure because that's going to make it much harder for you to remove the tape later without ripping. Now onto my bonus tip that might help ease the removal of tape from your paper. This is to use a hair dryer. Turn the settings to high heat, hold it over the tape for about 10 to 15 seconds or so to heat up the entire strip that you plan on removing. Then peel it up and remove it in the same way as I've said before, low to the drawing and away from the drawing. What the heat does is activate the adhesives in the tape and make them more flexible and easier to peel off. You might not be able to see on camera, but there is a lot less resistance when you are pulling the tape off by doing this. So if you have a roll of tape that is particularly extra sticky, using a hairdryer is going to really help you out in reducing ripping. I've personally only had paper ripping happen to me enough times to count on one hand over the last four or more years. The last time it happened was directly related to the tape that I bought and it being so much tackier than the tape I used before. I could clearly tell the difference between my old tape and my new tape because my fingers really stuck to the new tape versus the old one. And of course the new tape really tore up my paper versus the old one, which really didn't rip my paper at all. I will always use a hair dryer from now on when removing my stickier tape from my drawings. Want to learn some drawing tips? You might be interested in watching the top right video or alternatively the video YouTube suggests for you in the bottom right. And if you are interested in learning how to draw wildlife and pets, over on my Patreon I offer real time 1 to 15 hour drawing tutorials with a voiceover of tips and explanations. Signing up gives you instant access to a growing library of real time drawing tutorials. Sign up at patreon.com slash jessicamathini or follow the link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.